Hey, super learners. Um, we're gonna kind of keep going with our snowy theme in hopes of a snow day sometime soon. Um, so today we're gonna read a story called Snowman Magic. Um, and this is written, the author is Catherine Teagan, illustrated by Brandon Dorman. So I hope you guys like this story. Um, I'm excited to see what all magic happens in Snowman Magic. It has been snowing all day. Snowing, snowing, snowing. George was bored. There was no school, so he needed something to do. He kept looking out the window. Would it ever stop? <sighs> he must live somewhere up north because here where we are in North Carolina, snow doesn't happen like this very often. <laughs> the next morning, the sun was shining. When George looked out the window, everything was a brilliant white. That means it was shining super bright. The snow was so bright, it was almost hard to look at. If he squinted, that's where you like squeeze your eyes a little bit, look a little bit harder. He could see it was very deep and it had drifted high against the slope in his backyard. George put on his warm socks and his snow pants and his flannel shirt. Then he put on his snow jacket, his boots, his mittens, and his hat. He was ready. That's like what Mrs. A would wear um, if it were just cold outside. I don't like the cold, so I would bundle up just like he did. Except I don't think I own a flannel shirt. It's a very special type of material. It's very warm. Uh -oh. Outside, the air smelled clean and cold. George plunged into the snow. It was fluffy, but crunchy too. He made a snowball and threw it against a tree. It was very, very cold. So since we've started talking about adjectives or describing words, um, let's see if there are any adjectives on this page. The air smelled two things, two different things, clean and cold. So that's a way to describe what it feels like outside. Um, he also talked about when he plunged into the snow, it was fluffy, but it was also crunchy. So when I think of adjectives, I think of our describing words, our five senses. What does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? Um, so then it was very, very quiet. Quiet is awesome. George took some snow and packed it into a small ball. What kind of ball? Small. And it just so happens that small and ball our rhyming words, um, but small, guess what? Another adjective. Then he started rolling the ball in the snow. The ball got bigger and bigger. When the ball got too heavy to roll, he stopped rolling it near the bottom of the slope. 
Then he started rolling a medium sized ball. He put it on top of the big ball. Finally, he made a small ball for the top. So here he's describing the different size um, snowballs that he's using to make something. What do you think he's gonna make? Yeah, because wouldn't be much of a story about a snow about snowman magic if there wasn't a snowman. <laughs> George went inside his house and found a scarf in the closet and a carrot in the refrigerator. What's he going to use those for? Oh, to give him some features. Okay. In the old days, his mother told him People used to take pieces of coal and use them to make eyes. Um, pieces of coal are used to help um, like build a fire. Like if you've ever been to a grill or seen a grill before and it uses like these chunks of black rock, that's called charcoal and it helps um, burn for fire. But there, uh, there wasn't any coal in George's house. So he found two buttons and brought them outside with the scarf and the carrot. He carefully pushed the buttons into the small ball near the top. He stuck the carrot in the center or the middle he found a few small twigs and used them to make a mouth. He wrapped the scarf between the top ball and the middle ball. And he found two branches to stick into the side of the middle ball. It was a perfect snowman. George turned his head. He thought he saw the snowman smiling at him. Could it be? Mm, I wonder what's gonna happen. Time for a snack, said George. He went inside the house and got two mugs of hot chocolate and some cookies. He put them on the snow table. Would you like something to eat? George asked. I can't drink hot chocolate, the snowman said, but a cookie would be nice. Um, I think I asked this in another story that we read. Why can the snowman not drink hot chocolate? Because it's hot and if something is hot and you put it near something that's cold, like a snowman, it would Makes me think of uh, Olaf <laughs> before he was magical. After their snack, George made a cave tunneling deep into the slope. He piled up snowballs at the entrance. Then he threw a couple at the snowman. The snowman made some snowballs and threw them back at George. His long branch arms helped him throw the snowballs very far. It was hard to say who won the fight, but it was still fun. So um, talking about his arms, um, we are, have described them here as long and they're made out of branch. So again, using those adjectives, ooh, the story is good for that. <laughs> the snowman chased George around the yard and then George chased the snowman. The snowman couldn't move fast, so it was easy for George to sneak up on him.
it was get it's it was starting to get dark. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> it was starting to get dark. George didn't want to go inside, but his mother was calling him. Goodbye, snowman, he said. I will see you tomorrow. George thought he heard the snowman say, good night. The next day, it was warmer. The sun was even brighter and the snowman was shrinking. What do you think shrinking means? Hmm. Slowly getting smaller. George played with him all day, but he could tell that the snowman didn't quite have the same energy. Then it was Monday. George had to go to school. It was another bright, warm day. When he came home, the snowman was almost gone. The scarf and the carrot and the buttons had slid down. He could hardly recognize his snowman. The cave had collapsed too and the snow table had melted. The next morning, George looked out the window. It was snowing, 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 snowing. He couldn't wait. What can he wait for? What do you think? Make a prediction. Raise your, raise your hand, raise your hand. Okay. All right. Okay, let's find out. To build his snowman again. And that was snowman magic. Um, I hope you were paying attention and you heard a lot of describing words, um, talking about how things look, how they feel, how they smell, how they sound. Um, hot chocolate would have tasted nice, but the snowman couldn't drink it. So um, I hope you enjoyed Snowman Magic and I will see you later. Toodaloo.